Some of you guys may have noticed that when you are trying to switch your rendering mode from performance mode to DX11 or 12 or even vice versa, your game would stay in the same mode. Well, I have the solution for you guys so you can switch your rendering modes. So I have made a video on this back in Chapter 3 Season 2, and when you were trying to switch your rendering modes, after restarting your game, it would not work. It seems like Epic Games has not fixed this bug and it's been over a year. The main reason why I am making this video is because a lot of people are now watching the older video that I've made and it is still helping those people that are watching. So now I am going to show you guys how you can fix this. So when you are on Fortnite, go into your settings and click on the rendering mode that you want to switch to. And for this video, I'm going to be switching to DX11. Before you click and apply these settings, we need to go into the game user settings. So to get into these settings, you need to press the Windows key and R, then press percent local app data percent slash Fortnite game, then press OK. I will put it on screen so you can see exactly what you need to type. So once you press OK, your Fortnite game file should open up. So you want to click on saved, config, Windows client, then you want to right click on your game settings, then go to properties. There should be a box that says read only, so we need to uncheck this so it can work. So once you uncheck read only, make sure to press OK, press OK again if it gives you an option to. Then before you close out of these settings, you can just minimize it. So once you are back on your Fortnite game, you can click on the rendering mode that you want to switch to. As you guys can see, I don't have that many options because I am using performance mode. So I am going to switch to DX11 for this video. I'm not going to cut this part out in the video. I'm just going to speed it up for you guys so you can see that it is legit, that simple, and it works. So now I am back and you guys can probably tell that I am on DX11. So I'm going to go to my settings just to show you guys that I am back on DX11. It is that simple if you are trying to switch your rendering mode. So you can check read only again if you want to stay on the rendering mode that you're using. But if you want to switch it again, you can uncheck read only and do the same steps. Also, you guys have to keep this in mind. If you are switching to DX11, I'm not sure about DX12. If you want to see the normal builds and not the mobile builds from performance mode, you have to change your view distance to medium. Again, this is something I have noticed when switching to DX11, but the same thing could apply to DX12. So this was another quick video for you guys that needed to know how to fix this. I am getting a lot of views on the old video that I did make back in chapter 3, so I did want to show you guys that you can do the same thing in chapter 4. So let me know in the comments if you did have this issue, and if I did help you fix it, don't forget to subscribe.